Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking. My two newest teas are available right now on Amazon and on the website. One is the red blood cell booster tea that's available and so is the honey cinnamon nighttime tea. So if you're interested in trying either one of these out, you guys can check out either one of those websites. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network. So I want to do an update on this crazy story. I remember hearing about this about a year and a half ago. So if you guys don't know, there is a 46-year-old woman. Her name is Patricia Spann. And basically, this woman lost custody of her two children um, back when they were younger. She had been estranged from them for years. They end up finding their mother, okay, only for the mother to first fall in love with the son. She ends up marrying her son. They stayed married for two years. Then they eventually get divorced. And then she proceeds to fall in love and marry her daughter. And they start a lesbian relationship with each other, okay? And the only reason how this was found is that her daughter, who at the time was 26 years old, she was mad at her. She was upset about something. And she decided to go and get the marriage annulled. So when they went to annul the marriage and look at all the details, they realized that this was a relationship between a mother and a daughter. So at that point in time, they went to go arrest Patricia. She said that she felt like everything was okay. It was normal because she didn't raise these children and she didn't look at them as her children. This entire situation is so damn disturbing. Now, the craziest thing is that now she's finally been sentenced. They've been talking about this now for the past year off and on. She's finally been sentenced and they hit her with not only incest charges, but she also has to register as a sex offender as well. She was given two full years in prison, okay? So this entire situation is redeemed. Ridiculous. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Dressed alike in Superman shirts, mother and daughter are booked into the Stevens County Jail. So wait, so wait, they married each other? She's in the right mind to marry their mom. The mother and daughter married each other? Yeah. Huh. Patricia and Misty Spann married earlier this year. A DHS and police investigation revealed this pair is actually mother and daughter blood relatives who somehow married in Comanche County. Patricia Spann lost custody of Misty and two other children when they were young. They're adopted by their grandmother. Patricia Spann insisted to investigators she didn't have contact with her kids until two years ago. And when she reunited with Misty Spann, her daughter, they hit it off. You know, more stuff happens in small towns than people know. Paige Watson knew Misty Spann from high school. When I went to school with her, she had a girlfriend and they both worked at Sonic. People in the front yard of the Spans' home ran inside once they saw News Channel 4 pull up. Neighbors say the Spans are new to the block. Court records show an annulment between Patricia Span and her son in 2010. They were married for two years. Well, I don't know if incarceration uh, is, is really going to teach them anything, but um, I, there, there should be some sort of punishment or uh, deterrent. A 26-year-old Oklahoma woman pleaded guilty to incest for marrying her mother. According to court records, 26-year-old Misty Spann of Duncan, Oklahoma, received 10 years probation on Tuesday. Her mother, 44-year-old Patricia Spann, entered a not guilty plea. Prosecutors say the two married in 2016, but the daughter annulled it last month on the grounds of fraud and illegality. The Associated Press reports that the mother thought the marriage was legal, because she has not had custody of her children for years and is not listed on their birth certificate. And believe it or not, one final twist here, this is the second time the mother has been through a marriage annulment with one of her children. Prosecutors say she also married one of her sons. That marriage was annulled in 2010. Matt Uris for CBS 11 News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And like I said before, I really swear that we live in a do what that what society because this entire situation just does not make sense anymore. You know, how the hell are you a parent? Even if you weren't in their life, you gave birth to these children. How can you then turn around and be in a relationship with your son and your daughter? You know, this isn't some sick deviant shit. And then my thing is, it weren't like these kids were like, you know, eight and nine. Like, they were grown by the time they found their mom. So the fact that they were even cool with this is just weird as hell altogether. I say throw the whole family in jail and let them all be evaluated because something there is not damn ticking, okay? Because that shit don't make no damn sense. She sat there, married her son, 
They done fell off. Then he went and got a divorce from her. Then she turns around and marries the daughter. Didn't the daughter think it was strange when the mother was marrying the brother and then divorcing the brother and then, then trying to marry her? It's like, what in the world of trailer park trash is going on nowadays, okay? If this ain't some trailer park trash shit, I don't know what the hell is. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Coming from Oklahoma, Oklahoma has no name. We don't have a lot of stories from Oklahoma, so maybe y'all can figure out a name for Oklahoma. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.